Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled 10 Most Beautiful Cities in Germany. Uh, this video is supposed to leave me in a lot of state of um, shock, disbelief, and um, you know, like, I don't know, it, it, like, I know I'm going to be in a state where I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely got to see this one day, right? Because I know Germany has so much to offer when it comes to beauty, right? And it, it, the ironic thing about Germany is that it's not just the cities that are beautiful. You can find beauty in Germany in almost every little thing. And I mean genuine beauty. I don't mean something forced. I mean genuine beauty because look at the automotive section. You can find so much beautiful cars in Germany. You can find shitty cars in Germany, I'm sure. But you can find so much beautiful cars in Germany and uh, you know the buildings are beautiful as well with a lot of history you know even the car brands Carl Benz I think he him and Ford Mr. Ford Henry Ford are the two first car manufacturer and owner brands um, that I've ever known about so insane anyways man let's get into this video thank you for watching let me know your thoughts and feedback which one of these are your preferred um, out of the 10 without further ado let's get right into this video Germany is a stunning country, its cities are among Europe's most fascinating because they skillfully blend the country's ancient past and its cutting-edge present. Cities in Germany are rich in history and culture, from ancient Roman ruins and medieval towns to advanced design and nightlife. So let's get started and count the 10 most beautiful cities in Germany. Number 10. Whoa. Hamburg. Hamburg is the second largest city in Germany. This shit looks modern. But then you can see out there with the binoculars, you can see you got some older stuff out there with the, you know, the roof looking like that. That's crazy. After Berlin and the eighth largest in the EU. Over 1.8 million people live in the city. It is on the River Ide and its name and tributaries show that it was built in the Middle Ages. The impressive red brick Speicherstadt is a world heritage site in Hamburg. Hamburg is also Europe's center of stop, science. Stop, 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 stop. I, I don't know if I've ever asked this question before, but how does the building stand over the years with water surrounding it? Dude, oh man, man, I'm telling you like, dude, you know, modern architecture is just, it's just, it just doesn't withstand, you know, a lot of these things like, you know, water and that, that I know that this is not, you know, like hurricane type water, you know, where it's coming with force. This is much calmer water, but it is really, 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 you know, ad admirable to see this because it's like, dude, these buildings are literally here. Like I cannot, I'm not trying to over gas Germany. Right. And I know the Netherlands has this, that was something that I liked about the Netherlands as well. The, uh, water, uh, you know, buildings and whatever. Um, but I really think, you know, you're on your lunch break, you have, you have a job or whatever, and you just go by the kennel or whatever it's called. And you just put your foot over and you just sit. If you smoke, you smoke a cigar, you know, you drink something, shit, like, life is good, man. That's, that's relaxing right here, man. Gee. Education and research. Hamburg is also Europe's center of science, education, and research. Science. Okay. <clears throat> Number nine. Berlin. Berlin. Berlin is the capital and largest city of Germany. Located in the northeastern part of the country, Berlin is known for its rich history, vibrant culture, and diverse population. Damn! This is better than Paris! Shh. The city is home to many world-famous landmarks and museums, such as the Brandenburg Gate, the Berlin Wall, and Museum Island. Berlin is also home to a thriving arts and music scene, with many galleries, theaters, and music venues. The city is known for its lively nightlife, with many bars, clubs, and restaurants. In addition to its wow. cultural attractions, Berlin is also home to many beautiful parks and green spaces, including the Tiergarten and the Botanical Garden.
Number 8. Munich. Munich. At almost 1.5 million people, Munich is the capital of Bavaria and the third largest city in Germany. Furthermore, it ranks as the 12th largest state in the European Union. Technology, art, science, tourism, education, innovation, culture, and finance are just some of the fields in which Munich excels. Okay. The city has a lot to offer the numerous visitors who flock here every year. Marienplatz. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy, you know, when I'm watching these videos, I don't watch them just to, oh yeah, I'm a, I react to German videos. No, I watch them to learn, you know, you know, and I'm happy that they, they, they strive in tech. I, I was supposed to say something about that, but that's not important right now. What's important is them damn people standing right there, bro. Th they allow you to go up that high? I know they got Big Ben in the UK, okay? I've heard about the Big Ben, right? The clock, right? But I don't know you I don't know if you can actually go up to the Big Ben and actually go around it like that. So this is crazy. That's crazy. And I would totally do that. But I would have thoughts, man. What if you fall? Do not jump. Oh my lord. <laughs> Keep going. Munich excels. The city has a lot to offer the numerous visitors who flock here every year. Marienplatz, located in Munich's historic district, is the site of a number of important uprisings and other moments in the city's past. Mm. The city's historic city halls, towering churches, and century-old market contribute to its overall attractiveness. Number 7. Cologne. Cologne, Woo! Cologne Germany, is located on the Rhine River. With a population of close to 1.1 million, it is the fourth largest city in Germany. Ancient Roman fortifications, medieval cathedrals, and modern buildings contribute to the city's 2,000-year history and architectural diversity. The Cologne Cathedral, the largest cathedral in Germany, is the city's most popular tour. Right, I remember that the cathedral from James um, James Bray's video, and I'm telling you, bro, just seeing this thing again, bro, it looks so superficial. If if I'm saying the right word, <laughs> but damn. Destination. The welcoming locals who are tolerant and liberal contribute greatly to Cologne's charm. The city is also home to several restaurants serving regional specialties and numerous other forms of entertainment. Number six, Nuremberg. Nuremberg is the second biggest city in Bavaria after Munich, with about 512,000 people living there. Okay, that's a lot. The most famous thing about the city is the Nuremberg Trial, which is still an important part of German history. Nuremberg has been around for a thousand years, and over time it has grown to become one of the most important cities in Europe. There are many places to see in the city, such as old churches, imperial castles, and where the Nazis were imprisoned. A large part of Nuremberg is only accessible on foot, making it a pedestrian-friendly city. As I've seen this shit, so I remember somebody said they, they the Finnish commercial called call them off guard. <laughs> You know what's ironic? I remember what, at one point when I moved to Finland and I was like, yo, I moved to Finland. People were like, no, you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. I was like, what the hell? Why would I lie about that? <laughs> Number five, Dresden. Dresden. Dresden is a city located in the Eastern German state of Saxony. It is the state's capital and is known for its rich cultural and historical heritage. Dresden has a long and fascinating history and has been an important cultural and economic center for centuries. The city is home to many beautiful landmarks and attractions. One is the Frauenkirche, a famous 18th century church destroyed during World War II and later rebuilt. Okay. The Zwinger Palace is a Baroque palace with beautiful gardens and museums. And the Semper Opera, a stunning opera house home to the famous Saxon State Opera. In addition to these cultural landmarks, Dresden is also home to many beautiful parks and gardens, such as the Grosser Garten and the Brolsch Terrace. Number 
Number four. Frankfurt. Frankfurt. <laughs> hey, I can flex. That's the only part of Germany I've ever been to the airport. <laughs> Frankfurt is a major city located in the western German state of Hesse. It is the largest city in the state known for its vibrant culture and rich history. Frankfurt is a major financial and business hub, home to the European Central Bank and the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Hey. Despite its reputation as a financial center, Frankfurt is also a city with a rich cultural heritage, with many museums, galleries, and theaters to explore. Ooh. Some of the city's most famous- Hey, why does she look like downtown, baby? Woo! Hey, listen, this is something Germany can actually flex. You know, you cannot, like, if I took this picture, right, and let's say I cut out the, the ship, or not ship, whatever it's called, little vessel, right? I cut it out and I took the picture a little bit close up, you know, or angle it so you didn't, you don't see the water. And I told somebody that that was in the United States. They would likely believe me. They, they would likely believe me. I could probably somehow get a scene similar to this with either Canada or the United States, right? That's something that you can't find in the United States, though. You can't find them damn German buildings like that, right? That's You can say you got modern and you got old-ass buildings. I don't think a lot of countries can say that, you know what I mean? That's a flex that Germany really has, so she, she go crazy. Landmarks include the Romerberg, a historic square in the city's center. The St. Paul's Church is a 19th century Protestant church that is an important political and cultural center. And the Goethe House is the birthplace of the famous German writer Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. In addition to its cultural and historical attractions, Frankfurt is also home to many beautiful parks and green spaces, such as the Palmengarten and the Botanical Garden. Two homies chilling, catching a smoky. Number 3. Bremen. Bremen? I've never heard of that before. Bremen is a city located in the northwest German state of Lower Saxony. It is the second largest city in the state and is known for its rich history and cultural heritage. Bremen is home to many beautiful landmarks and attractions. One of them is the Bremen Town Hall, a stunning Gothic building that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Show Schnorr it. Quarter is a charming historic neighborhood with narrow streets and colorful houses. And the Bremen Roland, a famous statue that represents the city's freedom and autonomy. In addition to its cultural attractions, Bremen is also home to many beautiful parks and green spaces, such as the Burger Park and the Wallenlagen. Bremen is also known for its vibrant music and art scene, with many galleries, theaters, and concert venues to explore. Okay. Shout out to Bremen. Number 2. Leipzig. I've never heard of that Leipzig before. Leipzig is a city located in the eastern German state of Saxony. It is the largest city in the state and is known for its rich cultural and historical heritage. Leipzig has a long and fascinating history and has been an important cultural and economic center for centuries. The city is home to many beautiful landmarks and attractions like the St. Thomas Church. This famous 18th century church is the burial place of Johann Sebastian Bach. The Leipzig Zoo, one of the oldest and most famous zoos in Germany, and the Monument to the Battle of the Nations, a large monument that commemorates the Napoleonic Wars. Okay. In addition to its cultural attractions, Leipzig is also home to many beautiful parks and green spaces, such as Rosenthal Park and Clara Zetkin Park. Number 1. Dusseldorf. Isn't it Dunzel? 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 Ain't it Dunzel? Ain't got no N in there? Hold on. Number one. Oh, oh it ain't Dunzeldorf. Damn, it's Dusel. <laughs> du, du, Dus Dussel, Dusseldorf. Yeah. Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf is a city located in the western German state of North Rhine-Westphalia. It is the state's capital and is known for its vibrant culture and rich history. Okay. Dusseldorf is a major economic and business center, home to many international companies and trade fairs. Despite its reputation as a financial hub, Dusseldorf is also a city with a rich cultural heritage, with many museums, galleries, and theaters to explore. 
Some of the city's That's most famous people. landmarks include the Rhine Tower, a television tower with an observation deck that offers panoramic views of the city. Was that the when Dusseldorf I saw the, the first thing? Because I was I was looking at it and I was like, yo, this thing looked like one of them things that you got at the airport where you can actually, you know, see what's going on with the flights, you know. Watchtower, something like that? I don't remember what it's called. But. Town, a charming historic district with narrow streets and colorful houses, and the Dusseldorf Museum of Art, a world-renowned museum that houses a large collection of modern and contemporary art. In addition to its cultural and historical attractions, Dusseldorf is also home to many beautiful parks and green spaces, such as the Hofgarten and the Nord Park. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Shout out to Germany, man. Like, uh, it's a handful, bro. It's a handful of, you know, experiences that you can get. And shout out especially to Frank Virch, you know, because, you know, I've actually, you know, stepped on the soil of Frankfurt before. I, you know, watching this video and seeing, you know, what I saw regarding Frankfurt, it kind of made me a little bit depressed because I was like, you know, I was there. I just never had the opportunity to get out of the airport because I had a flight to Finland for crying out loud. The shit was one hour separation, right? Uh, and, um, you know, you got to check in, you got to do all of that. And the previous flight I was on was already late. So I was already getting to this next flight late. So, yeah, sucks, man. It sucks. But, um, you know, eventually I will be able to go to Germany. You know, right now it's, it's, it's really not that easy, you know. Oh, too much shit going on, man. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And um, yeah, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Anyways, man, I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Peace.